Hello everyone, this is Matini Katang Musikero Channel and this is your teacher in this session, Danilo Guzman Jr. Our lesson for today is all about trigonometry of right triangles and its applications. And this is the part one of our session wherein we will be studying the trigonometry of right triangles. But before we will start our session, Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel, Matinik at Ang Musikero. Let us now start the discussion proper. First and foremost, allow me to present first our objectives. At the end of all our video sessions, each learner would be able to for our objective number one, each learner would be able to use the sum of Engels formula and the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing lengths of the sides of a right triangle. And then, for our second objective, know the Pythagorean theorem and be shown an informal proof of the theorem. And for our third objective, each learner would be able to find the missing angles of a right triangle. For our fourth objective, find the exact trigonometric function values for angles that measure 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. And we also have this objective. Each learner would be able to Solve applied problems using right triangle trigonometry. And for the start of our lesson, let us have now the following basic definition of terms underlying the concept of right triangles. For our first basic definition of terms, definitely we have to define the definition of the word trigonometry. Trigonometry is the branch of mathematics dealing with the relations of the sides and angles of triangles and with the relevant functions of any angles. And for our second relevant basic definition of term, we have the right angle. Right angle is an angle of exactly 90 degrees. Followed by the third one, the acute angle. Acute angle actually is an angle of having a measurement between 0 and 90 degrees. And then the next one, we have the Pythagorean Theorem. Pythagorean Theorem is a theorem attributed to Pythagoras that the square of the hypotenuse of a right triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. How about a right triangle? A right triangle is a triangle with an angle of 90 degrees. The sides A, B, and C of such a triangle satisfy the Pythagorean theorem. And then we also have the angle of elevation. It is actually the angle between a horizontal line from the observer and the line of sight to an object that is above the horizontal line. And then we also have the angle of depression. Angle of depression is the angle between a horizontal line from the observer and the line of sight to an object that is below the horizontal line. Let me introduce now the Pythagorean Theorem. Pythagorean Theorem is only applicable for all right triangles wherein a right triangle is actually consisting of two acute angles, angle A and angle B, and also angle C, which is a right angle. A right triangle also consists of two legs, the side A and the side B, and the third side, which is actually the longest side, the hypotenuse. And according to Pythagoras, Pythagorean theorem states that the sum of the square of the legs of a right triangle is always equal to the square of its hypotenuse. 
And for the general formula of our Pythagorean theorem, we have a square plus b square equals c square. Wherein the side C is actually the hypotenuse of our right triangle. And then side A and B are the legs of the right triangle. Now, if you will square both legs of the right triangle and adding them together, we will have A square plus B square. A square plus B square is always equal to the square of the hypotenuse of the right triangle which is actually C square. Let us now proceed to the sum of angles of a right triangle. And as we can see in our figure, we have two acute angles. First, we have acute angle A and acute angle B. And then, for the third one, we also have the right angle. Right angle is having a measurement of 90 degrees, and that is angle C. Now, when dealing with the sum of angles of a right triangle, we actually have two formulas to remember. For our first formula, we have angle A plus angle B equals 90 degrees which means that the sum of two acute angles is always equal to 90 degrees. And then followed by this formula, angle A plus angle B plus angle C equals 180 degrees. Wherein, angle C is the right angle of the right triangle. And then, angle A and angle B are the acute angles of the right triangle. Let us now proceed to the six trigonometric functions. Given this figure of a right triangle, what will then be the function of each side of our right triangle if our reference angle is angle A? Since we choose Angle A as our reference angle, side A will be our opposite side. And then side B will be our adjacent side. And then the side C, which is actually the longest side of the right triangle, is our hypotenuse. For our first trigonometric function, we have to remember the term SO. SOH meaning sine opposite hypotenuse. And since our reference angle is A, we need to determine now the value of sine A. Sine of angle A is equal to side A divided by side C or A over C. Since side A is actually the side opposite to angle A and side C is our hypotenuse. And then for our second function, we have ka, C-A-H, meaning cosine adjacent hypotenuse. Now, in our given right triangle, where in the reference angle is angle A, the value of the cosine of angle A is equal to side B over side C. Since side B is the side adjacent to angle A, and the longest side C is our hypotenuse, Cosine of any angle is actually equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. That is why we have cosine A equals B over C. And then we also have the acronym or mnemonic TOA or TOA, meaning tangent, opposite, adjacent. Tangent of angle A is equal to side A over side B. Since side A is the opposite to angle A and side B is adjacent to angle A, Tangent A is equal to opposite over adjacent. That is why it is equal to A over B. Since side A is our opposite and B is the adjacent of our given right triangle. And then we also have CHO meaning cosecant hypotenuse opposite. 
Now, in this given right triangle, we're in a reference angle is A. The value of cosecant A is equal to C over A. We're in C is our hypotenuse and A is the side opposite to angle A. Again, cosecant of angle A is hypotenuse over opposite. That is why its value is equal to C divided by A. And then we also have Sha. S H A meaning secant hypotenuse adjacent. That is why the value of our second of angle A is equal to side C divided by side B. C again is the hypotenuse and B is the side adjacent to angle A. And then finally we have cow or C A O meaning cotangent adjacent opposite. Finally, we have cotangent of angle A, which is equal to side B divided by side A. Side adjacent to angle A divided by side opposite to angle A. Or, again, cotangent angle A is equal to side B divided by side A. And now, what if the reference angle that we have used is angle B? Since angle B is the reference angle, side B will then be our opposite. And then side A is the side adjacent to angle B. And then for the next one, side C is always our hypotenuse. Let us have now our six trigonometric functions if angle B is the reference angle that we will use. First, we have the sine of angle B. The sine of angle B is equal to side B over side C, or the side opposite to angle B divided by hypotenuse. Followed by cosine of angle B, which is equal to side A divided by side C, or side adjacent to angle B over hypotenuse. And then we have tangent of angle B, which is equal to opposite over adjacent, or side B divided by side A. Cosecant B is equal to hypotenuse over opposite, or C over B. And then second of angle B is hypotenuse over adjacent, or side C divided by side A. And then cotangent of angle B. Adjacent divided by opposite, or A over B. Let us now have additional information about right triangles. We actually have different types of triangles. And now, let us enumerate them. For the first one, we have the general right triangle. The second one has the isosceles right triangle. And the third one, we have the 30 by 60 by 90 degrees triangle. And then we also have the following theorems that we have to remember when dealing with the right triangles. For the first theorem, we have 45 by 45 by 90 degrees triangle theorem. In a 45 by 45 by 90 degrees triangle, both legs are congruent and the length of the hypotenuse is the square root of 2 times the length of a leg. Or, hypotenuse is equal to square root of 2 times leg length. And for our second theorem, we have the 30 by 60 by 90 degrees triangle theorem. In this theorem, the length of the hypotenuse is 2 times the length of the shorter side and the length of the longer leg is the square root of 3 times the length of the shorter leg. And now that we have already accomplished the first part of our discussion, let us now proceed to the next video. Thank you very much and God bless us all.